it, flip it. Right here. All right, how fast can we do it, ready? Mike, you're not that good. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. One of the boys here, he actually takes his girlfriend to Olive Garden. For oh, yeah. One oh, if they score on this people, I'll give you $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100
guys, we have a couple big losses like Danny and Gunderson, but we also gained a couple of guys coming up. Let's say you guys win tomorrow night. Do you guys have a plan for hockey here for the state tournament? Probably just keep it basic with the mullets, but I was also thinking about the cul-de-sac where you like shave right here <laughs> and keep the sides. Yeah. I don't know if I would do that. One of the boys on our team did something like that last year. I don't know if I'm as much of a clown as him to do that. But I've seen some like teams bleach their hair. That's just too far. Yeah, I wouldn't do the bleach. No. <laughs> That's not me. Talk about playing for Coach Berglund, what's that like? It's been fun playing for him. He's always a guy in the locker room that loves to get the boys fired up. Mm -hmm. And he's always energized, you know, just gets everyone ready for the game. Your goal is to win a state championship right now, but let's talk about after that. Do you, do you want to play college hockey and what's that route like? It's definitely a challenging route, but yeah, I do see myself playing D1 hockey. I'd say I would prefer to play in the USHL or the BC. I mean, the doll is good too, but wherever my path takes me. How about just like the recruiting process in itself? You know, you got a couple commits on the team, Rain, Peterson, like what have you learned from those guys as they've made their commitments? They're big inspiration, especially Finn. I've looked up to him since day one. Um, is there a school that you'd want to go to? Is there a dream school? Uh, dream school, NODAC is definitely up there. BU is probably University of Minnesota. You got these commits on your team. Do you know there's scouts in the stands? Does that ever get in your head while you're playing? I try not to let it. You know, you always know there's scouts in the stand. You just play your game, play like no one's watching. We were in here recording your game two weeks ago. We saw your jump little thing with Senior there in the locker room here, and then as you hit the ice, we'll talk about that. Me and Senior started that a little bit during tryouts when we went up to Moorhead, and it kind of just became a thing. We do it once in the locker room and once right before we hit the ice. Talk a little bit about like, you know, your workout process you know what you're eating that kind of stuff let's just start with the pre-game meal pre-game meal on game days i do like to go out either to chipotle or jersey mike's what about just like off season are you focused on what you're eating right now in high school or are you just trying to put on weight definitely just trying to put on weight yeah but I normally i just eat whatever's at the dinner table my yeah, that works pretty good cooks <laughs> there you go what do you do to train during the season we have the whole team workouts every monday just a little weekly thing and then if we have it like right before a game we just do stretches in the off season normally it's like five days a week during the season we kind of keep it a little bit lighter. Oh, for like skill stuff, are you practicing at home or anything? Yeah, I shoot in my garage. What, what do you cherish I guess, most about just being on this team? The locker room after practice, just mm -hmm. sitting in here hanging out with the boys. We were in the locker room with you before that game a couple weeks ago, but just the energy. You guys got music going in here. The victory dance, what was that? We gotta talk about that. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, Red Light, Green Light from the show Squid Games. When I say red light, uh -huh. I need you to stop. stop. All right. When I say green light, I need you to go. Green light. And who came up with that idea? Did that start this year or no? No, it started last year. Okay. The music starts and it's just a little dance, and then it goes red light, and we all freeze, and then green light, and that's where we give the player the game. Mm -hmm. And then the player of the game gets in the middle of the circle and it says, hit the strobe. Yeah. And it goes around and everyone gets like fired up, and then we just all start dancing in the middle once the beat drops. Yeah. Hit the strobe. <laughs> So I do want to get into like the kind of player you are. Is there anyone that you model your game after in the NHL or college? I'd say more of like Brady Kachuk type of guy. He's still a skilled player, but he's pretty too. Not afraid to shy away from the battle. You got some size and you're out there against these high school guys who are not always big, but do you, do you use that to your advantage? Having a little bit more size than those guys? Yeah, the frame definitely helps to protect the puck and everything, but everyone's fast in this league, so you gotta be creative also. If you get to the state tournament, you know, that is more physical. Do you like sure. to hit at all? Yeah, I consider myself as a hitter. What do you think college are looking for? I'd say I'm more of a guy with poise with the puck, I'm a playmaker. I like to dish it most time. Where do you think you, you know, you got your playmaking ability? Do you watch a lot of NHL or college? Uh, yeah, I do watch a lot of NHL. Mm -hmm. Mostly just the highlights. It's still like cool. I tr Every time I see a move on YouTube or whatever, mm -hmm. I come out during practice and try it. It's our first time. It doesn't always work, but right, yeah, but you practice, practice, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then you pull it off in a game. And it's the best feeling ever. Yeah. yeah. Do you think like while you're in high school right now, what are these scouts looking for from you? Or are you just trying to go play? I try not to think too much about it. I know they are looking for specific things, but mm -hmm. I just try to go out and play my game. Favorite player of all time? I mean, I feel like you gotta just say Wayne Gretzky or Sidney Crosby. Sidney Crosby? Just because I grew up watching him. How about why do you use white tape on the play? So I can make the puck marks on my stick. That's it? Yep. That's <laughs> it. What, what do you use for a stick specs? Flex 77, P92 curve, max height blade. 
How much do you care about that? Or is it like, no, I, I care a lot. We just had uh, Jackson Blake on who played at Eden Prairie, you know, North Dakota, tearing it up. But he said, you know, playing in Minnesota high school is hockey was the best thing he's ever done because you know, of the memories. Do you have a favorite memory from high school so far? Playing hockey with the boys? It would probably just be hanging out with the team, but on the ice, I would say the turkey trot was like one of my very first big goals when I scored against Wyzetta. Who lifts the most on the team? I'd be Grant Leno. He's just a beast. How much do you put up a squat? He goes like 315 for five on the bench. Funniest guy on the team. I might also have to go with Grant Leno. <laughs> How about the smartest guy on the team? I'd be back picking out all. No, other. no question. <laughs> <laughs> Every time we trip him about getting out his calculator and stuff. You've got a fair amount of goals this year. Do you have a go-to silly? I normally just do the math. Matthew Nice, Sally, where you put the knee on the ground and just start screaming. Who's got the best hair on the team? The introduction of the X, who looked the best on TV? I'd say Jay Ellingson. Cares yeah. a lot about his hair. He always puts gel in it and stuff. 